logic board is there. That looks lovely. This looks like crap. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Hi, welcome to the MBK Upcycle Lab. Today, we are doing something different. We are upcycling this old Apple time capsule, the A1470. We are installing a four terabyte hard drive. So, what is an Apple time capsule? It's a handy device that acts as a router, hub, network storage for backups, and Wi-Fi, supporting the A, B, G, N, and AC protocols on the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz carrier. We are replacing the hard drive to boost the capacity from two terabytes to four terabytes. And the current drive is over five years old. So let's get started. We need to remove this end cap here. Uh, this is something uh, everyone struggles with, but uh, this is the easy method. Take note that this is the power supply uh, cord side. It's the bottom of the Apple symbol. Um, obviously have the power cable unplugged. This is for your own safety. Um, and all we need to do is work on this side. We go to the center and then we go slightly offset and we get our metal spudger in, shove it in there nice and hard and pry this edge back a little bit. And then we just throw in the plastic spudger just to keep it jammed open like that. So this side is essentially popped and then we get our metal spudger and find the center again and go slightly offset and take note we have a lead here and we may have a cable so just be very careful and we'll insert our metal spudger and then we should be able to lever both ends and pop the corner. And then it's all a matter of working our way around, just gently popping as we go, all the way around, and eventually just popping along here, along the power supply side, and we're all done. Easy peasy. This is a gasket retaining plate here. Uh, we're going to need a T8. So we'll take these four screws out. We'll do this just quickly. We get our little metal spudger in. Just be aware of the cables here. And then we gently put it between the plate and the gasket and gently pry it up like this and push that plate aside. Uh, we also get our little uh, power connector here and we will gently pry that up and peel it back gently to expose uh, this end of the gasket. We're going to need to take out a few more uh, cables here so uh, we'll have a look at that next first two cables we have to disconnect is this one here and this one here so we'll start with this one at the back we just get uh, our tweezers and just gently just put it underneath and pry it upwards and it should just pop out like this and then we do the same again with this four pin connector down here gently push it up and out and these are our first two cables done. The next one is our little power connector here. This is a little bit more difficult. We have our locking tabs on the side here. And the easiest thing to do is just to push the tabs in slightly and peel it back and then work on the other side. That's it. Disengage those tabs nice and gently and then work our cable free. We next uh, peel our cables back being nice and gentle over here like this and then we peel
heal our gasket up. Next is our little uh, SATA connector here. We'll need a 3mm flat screwdriver and we'll just poke him in there and just gently work up either end of our SATA connector. Being nice and gentle. Pry him up. And then pushing this cable clear. We have to uh, grab the hard drive, take it up and out. So grab a solid portion of the hard drive around this plate area here. Just get the old pliers in there, grab on tight and just give it a bit of a wiggle. You're going to have to use a bit of muscle, give it a good old solid pull get up to where you can actually grab it physically and the hard drive is out we have some uh, gaskets down the bottom here so we just need to put a big screwdriver down there and just pry those out of position loosen them up a little bit and then we just get a bit of compressed air and blast a whole heap of air down through here. Blast out all that crap, turn him upside down and take out those two gaskets. The next question is, which hard drive do I actually uh, choose? Now, this is the old hard drive. This is the Seagate Barracuda, uh, two terabyte, and this is manufactured 2013. Um, this hard drive is nearly six years old, and we tend to replace hard drives every three to five years because they have rotating platters and mechanical uh, bits and pieces of them, uh, moving heads, and anything that uh, moves has mechanical wear and tear. Uh, so that's why we replace every three to five years. We are using uh, the Western Digital Purple series, the surveillance hard drive. Uh, the equivalent in the Seagate is the Skyhawk surveillance. Um, and look, you know, they, the surveillance drives are pretty good on the right. They're not so good on the read. But at the end of the day, you're just restoring systems. So there's, there's no great rush. You can also go to the Western Digital Red Drives. They're the uh, network attached storage or NAS drives. Um, they're a little bit better on the read and write. Uh, but, and the uh, equivalent uh, Seagate one is the uh, Ironwolf NAS drive as well, which is very similar characteristics. Do your research on that and uh, make your selection and uh, yeah, just go from there. Also, another thing to take into account uh, this is the old drive. This is a new drive. The old drive actually had the uh, the gaskets uh, sitting down the bottom and they quite neatly fit over the end just like that. But with the newer drives, they're a little bit thicker in this section here. So if you have a look here, you're actually going to have a bit of a problem here. We have an excessive amount of rubber and that's going to have to be cut out with a Stanley knife and some little side cutters. But as soon as that little bit goes, uh, that'll quite nicely uh, snug over the end, just like that. So, um, okay, let's go uh, cut these uh, gaskets up.
reassembly is the uh, exact reverse of everything. So uh, first of all, we have to plug our SATA back in here. Then squeeze our gasket over the top. It's time to put back in the power connector. Also, check in here that there's actually a gap in between the hard drive and this metal shield to make sure the uh, circuit board doesn't short out. The top goes back on now, so take note of where the power connector is and you'll see a corresponding mark here. Just flip it over and we will push it back on. Give it a good hard push. And Bob's your uncle. Our next step is to plug this in. Go into the uh, airport utility on your Mac. You'll see the uh, new reconditioned time capture come up. You'll see an orange warning light. That means there's a disk error. Just click on edit and we'll have to format the disk. So click on the disks tab and you'll see the new airport disk there just click on erase disk and that'll erase the disk give it a quick erase non-secure that'll do the job click on continue and that'll start the format sequence now the orange light will flash and after about 10 seconds it'll go green and your Apple time capsule will all be ready to use for your backups. Thanks for watching this vlog. If you like this video, thumbs up of course. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you next time in the MBK Upcycle Lab.